How's it going, lads and lasses? I mean, it has been a long time. I'm just setting up Discord because, as you can tell by the, you know, title on the video, today is Rangers versus Newcastle United. Alan McGregor's testimonial. The Rangers goalkeeper. He's been a legend to the club, an absolute servant, brilliant goalkeeper from pinky saves, at Slavia Prague, I think, to like saves to get us into the Europa League final. It's League winning saves has been unbelievable throughout the years, but yeah, it's been nearly three years since the last video, but that's a whole different video and I'm going to explain why that is, Um, but we should be back now, back for the Rangers season, back doing content, you guys enjoy this video. So guys, we are literally a minute till kick off, the players are just about to walk out, Newcastle have travelled really well today, I think there's about 8,000 there, the rest of the Rangers fans, our ultras are sat on the opposite side of the stadium, because... The uh, section that they would be in is taken up by Newcastle fans, so that's just great. So instead of sitting where they would usually sit if it was like when Celtic used to have that stand uh, in the way section, they've, they've tried it on the opposite side. I don't see a problem with it. They've got the flags out and forces. Um, but this is the Rangers team. I'm so excited to see new signings play like Lamas and Seema. Uh, Seema scored in a pre-season behind closed doors uh, in Germany. Uh, when we had a training camp over there and it, it seemed a really good goal he just like flicked it on diving header um, but yeah this is also the Newcastle team Tenali looking very dangerous in there you know a good signing for Newcastle really solid midfielder I really liked him when he was at AC Milan um, so yeah I think he's going to probably cause us some problems Callum Wilson as well obviously one hell of a striker um, I've always rated him very injury prone but I think he's sort of put that behind him right now uh, he's bagged a few goals for Newcastle last season um Obviously, I was born in Newcastle. Most of my family support Newcastle. Um, I was brought up sort of both, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, later in years, I've, I've, I've got my Rangers season ticket holder. I, I, I am a Rangers season ticket holder. I've you know, moved to Harrogate now, which makes it even harder to go to Rangers game, but we still get there in the end. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, and I think it's just going to be a good game. Uh, two sets of unbelievable fans. Newcastle are really loud, really passionate. Rangers are really loud and really passionate as well. And I think it's really good for the testimonial for Alan McGregor. So we've changed from the AirPods over to the headset. I'm sorry if you can hear that comment behind it. And this really squeaky chair, really annoying, trust me. Waiting on a good friend of mine, Eden, to join the call. Big Newcastle fan. Obviously going to be on call with a big Rangers fan as well. I don't know if I can get the audio to record. If I can, great. If not, then you just stuck with my voice. I just say lads, right, we have had two minutes into the game, the Union Bears are going mental, you know, singing the songs, Newcastle are doing well as well, mind, um, they've been really loud, obviously singing their songs about the Champions League and stuff like that, which is a phenomenal achievement, I've got to take my hat off to them, it would be absolutely great, I would, but I've got this head on at the minute, third that they finished last season, fantastic achievement, you know, Trippy and Tenali, just linking up well there, um, as I say, Tenali is going to cause us bother today. On a whipped in mind, it's not got anywhere, which is a bit disappointing with the height that Rangers have signed, you know, to get a bit of headers into the box. It's annoying that we're not getting there, but then you've got to look at like the Newcastle defence as well. They are some really tall players in there, really strong players. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this off in a minute because even will be 10 minutes apparently. How can you miss the start of the game? Newcastle are piling on the pressure here. Range of defence just looks all over the place. There's been a bit there where I think it was Suter and Barisic just both not able to talk to each other, you know. And it's just like, oh, just get it out. And obviously, Trippier, right back, he flies up that wing as if there's no tomorrow. It never looks like he's breaking sweat. Um, we managed to get away. I think that's Botman on the ball now. 14 minutes in, just going on 15. Still nil nil. Newcastle are just so deadly in possession at the minute. Went wide. 1 0 Newcastle. It's a well worked finish. It's Miguel Almiron. You know? Well worked finish. I, I can't complain at that. We've piled on the pressure. We've sat back most of the game. A couple of chances at the start, and just nothing happened. Newcastle have piled it on. They've hit the target. Just rolled it past Alan McGregor on his testimonial. You know? I mean, that is, I think it's. Anderson maybe rolls it. Is it Matty Target? I have no idea who that is, unfortunately. Just gives it Almiron. First time finish. It's a great finish, mind. 
It was wrong there, there was a decent chance, wasn't it? It's like that Lammers who have just signed. Anthony's way through. Carrier saved it. Yeah, Amron's goal was sick. Yeah, I mean, this this is just what we do. We go forward and then we'll pass back. Surprised just haven't put in a bid for uh, Tavernia. But then I've seen a rumour this week that he's apparently meant to be away to Saudi Arabia. I don't know, because I remember you saying about for the Champions League you need so many homegrown players in your, in your team. Oh, fucking Cantwell. Cantwell's missed this. I mean, he's under pressure from Trippier a lot, but... Mad. Wait, so it's Alan McGregor's testimonial. We're taking him off already. It's 37 minutes and we're taking him off. Brilliant. <laughs> so it does mean... I've I think we've got Jack Bolton on the bench. Lovers! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I've just put my light on, it's blinding me. Mate, wait until you see this. This is bad fucking defending by Newcastle. Like, awful. It's either that or a good attacking play by us. Go on! What a ball! Why would you shit yourself? With me for Newcastle. It's been like physically wise, pace wise, and controlling the possession wise. These have got everything. So, pretty much, use our control in this game. Apart from like, if we get in in the final third, we look dangerous. We just don't know what to do with it. Alex Lowry coming on for Rangers instead of, well, taking off Tavernia. So, we're taking off for. We're taking off a right back and putting on an attacking midfielder. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. Hit it! Oh man, you fucking tit! Possibly. I think it's. You know that Harrison Ashby? That he's saying from West Ham. He's just. Just got a yard and just chipped Jack Butland with his head. It's a good finish, mind. I think this is how it's going to end. It's only been a minute and a half. That's it. Kicking the teeth, conceding a late goal. But, you know, I'd say we went toe to toe there. Like, there's no. It wasn't like a, a hammering or anything like that. It was yeah, it wasn't a whitewash. It wasn't a hammering. It was a you know two two quality finishes by Newcastle. Absolutely two fantastic ones. Almiron's at first, you know, just rolling it in, and then Ashby's header. He just gets a yard, and you know, that's all he needs. But um, yeah, see what happens. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Um, I just wanted to sort of have a recap of things that have happened in the game. So, positives to come out of the game. Not much. Um, as Newcastle fans, as Rangers fans, the football standard wasn't the best last night. Um, from a Rangers point of view, maybe that the fact is that Sam Lammers got his first goal. You know, really good reading the ball there. Managed to win it back and scored his goal really well. Um, from a Newcastle point of view... From when I spoke to some friends, obviously it was shit that they couldn't get a drink inside of the ground, which obviously in Newcastle you can, in Glasgow you couldn't. Football-wise, obviously Harrison Ashby, who, you know, he, he doesn't get a lot of game time for Newcastle. Him coming on and, you know, getting a goal against an experienced goalkeeper like Jack Butland. Um, and he took his goal really well, as I say in the, in the video, you know, all he needs is a yard or so, and then that's it, it's in the back of the net. Um, but I hope Newcastle fans had a really good trip. Um, to Glasgow, you know, it's been a, it was a really good atmosphere from what I've seen on the telly. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while since I've been back, but hopefully it's going to be more frequent. Going to be able to do more like vlogs and football coverages and that as well. So uh, yeah, make sure to stay tuned. Maybe not match day vlogs, but you know, some covering on vlogs just what's happening in life. But uh, yeah, make sure to stay tuned, guys. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it very much, as much as I have watching it from both sides as well. So I'll see you in the next one.